Alright guys, we are back with another video. Of course, we've had some more World Eaters release, so we're just gonna quickly go over this uh, nice Corn Berserker that GW has released a picture of. So, having a look, we can see that, of course, my prediction was correct. It's a, a very simple kit, it's not overly done, unlike the uh, Plague Marines. But, um, yeah, so having a look, we'll start with the sort of helm. It's uh, very simple, in my opinion. They At least this one is, yeah, just just a helm. <laughs> There's no, no spikes sticking up out of it. There's no horns, like teeth or anything. Just a, just a bunny helm with a couple of corn sigils, which is interesting. We'll see what comes with the rest, but... Have a look at this chest plate. It looks sort of like the bottom might flare a little bit out. I'm not sure. Could just be the way that it's painted, but looks like it sits a little bit different to other armor types. Uh, of course, an appropriate amount of trim. Not too much, which is glorious. We can see, uh, you know, the thighs, the shins, the van braces. And then of course pauldrons. So, so far it's looking good. Looking like we're not going to have to be painting a fuck ton of trim like the old uh, Poor Thousand Sons boys. Yeah, the uh, plasma pistol, nice and simple. It's not overly, you know, warped out. Just a nice little couple, couple of spiked rivets there, and a little spike for the uh, front sights. But yeah, nothing, nothing too mutated out, which is nice. Yeah, plenty of chains already. We, we can see he's got uh, a chain connecting his van brace to the... Well, was connecting his van brace to the bottom of the chain axe. But it's clearly snapped at some point in time. Which is a really nice touch. I like that nice included ring. Sort of, it's embedded into the armor itself. A nice couple of chains down on that tabard. Couple of spikes, couple of balls, couple of skulls. It's a, Nice amount of detail. It's not over the top. This is fantastic. Chain axe looks beautiful. Nice. You know, similar to Gore Child in ways, but, you know, nice plain, just corn symbol on the head. Yeah, this is a beautiful looking model so far. Hopefully the rest are similar. I would like to see a couple of more different helms that aren't as plain. I would like to see some sort of, you know, spike or something coming out similar to the Forge World kit. Just like a horn growing out of the head, maybe a cracked helm with an exposed, you know, eye or whatnot. I do like the idea of that. I do sort of see the World Eaters as having more damaged armor. So, yeah, I would, I would like to see a little bit more battle damage, but they could always be included yourself with a knife. So yeah, it's a it's a beautiful model. Uh, my only sort of gripe is yeah the sort of plainness of the helm to a certain point, and the power pack arms a little long, like li little long. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's just because they've sort of gone with a narrower center part, like some of the old um, power packs. Yeah, it's a it's a tad long. The yeah, a couple of spikes on there. Yeah, they, yeah they're, they're there. But yeah, other than that, I don't have much to really point out and say I don't like about this model. It's clearly like singular posed. Oh like, yeah, there's yeah, yeah, there's not going to be much editing of this model. I don't think with the way you can see some of those armor panels are. I don't think there's going to be much alteration going on. So yeah, while we're here we'll quickly talk about these uh, Horus Heresy heads that also, well, helmets and head that got released. And also the shoulder pads. So having a look at these Mark VI heads, they're, yeah, they're alright. I'm Honestly myself, I'm not a big fan of the sort of bunny ears that are curved like that. 
they don't do as much for me as some of the other designs on the 40k models but yeah these heads are yeah they're, they're all right they're not too bad i don't mind them champion head i'm not sure i really like the whole sort of uh serrated sort of inner of it it's a little bit weird uh the sort of exposed butcher's nails on top whatever they're going for there it's a little bit weird I mean, like yeah i don't know a bit strange and the actual unhelmeted head itself like it's not bad but that fucking smile that he's got going on that large grin i don't know it's strange I'd like to see more of a snarl. Like, that would be more appropriate, Games Workshop. This this sort of laughing, manic head, it's... I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really do it for me. At all. The Butcher's Nails look fucking beautiful, from what we can see. They look, they look nice, but... Yeah, this, this big grin. <laughs> it's a bit fucking weird. And uh, the, the pauldrons, they're... Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're very simple, but as have been most of the Mark VI things, or well, and or the releases. So, yeah, I'm a little bit picky. I think a little bit of island detail in the middle wouldn't have hurt. But other than that, yeah, they're world eaters, symbols, they're pauldrons. But anyway, let me know what you just think. Hopefully we'll have some more releases soon for the world eaters, some more photos of berserkers and whatnot hopefully some photos of these champions lords or whatever they're gonna be but yeah so anyway don't forget to like and subscribe and uh i'll catch us on the next one and don't forget to have a good one <laughs>